one of these posters and oh so gassed <laughs> hello my babies welcome back to the channel i'm your host luca and in today's video we're going to be discussing some of that new moon Knight news let's get straight into the video first of all let's just get to the topic that everyone wants to talk about okay we get mr knight baby now bam i am so gassed for this mr knight suit Looking at these photos, you can't tell me that it's not a nice suit. From the son of a seamstress, let me tell you now, I know good craftsmanship and good fabric when I see it and bellissimo. Fabric is on point. The costume department deserve an award for these costumes in this show because they are looking on nice. Marvel TV lately has been doing some amazing costumes and I'm digging all of them. It's so nice and I cannot wait to see this show drop on March 30th. I'm so fucking excited. We got the glowing white eyes in one of these posters and oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so nice to see. The eyes in this Moon Knight Empire photo look amazing and the official Mr. Knight poster look dang. You cannot tell me that the Mr. Knight costume in this poster is not perfect. Now, Eric Voss over at New Rockstars has a theory about the Mr. Knight masks that I think some of you guys might agree with. Now, he reckons that it could be a visual representation of Mark Spector's fractured psyche. And I feel like that's something that Marvel would definitely do. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? The episode count and the rating of the show. So, we're gonna get six episodes of Moon Knight and they're going to be dropping weekly starting March 30th on Wednesdays, all right? And they've been rated 14A, which is a bit of a disappointment, I know, because a lot of us were expecting it to be our first R-rated Disney Plus Marvel show. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to be the case, okay? Uh, we're just going to have to deal with what we've been given. I have a little theory, okay? Now, it might seem a bit far out, but bear with me, okay? I think that Khonshu may be used the same way that Loki used the concept of variant. I think that Moon Knight will use Khonshu to introduce the Elder God Pantheon into the MCU, okay? Because his family is already out there. We've got his father, Amun-Ra, the Sun God, which it looks like Arthur Harrow is going to be the avatar of like the vessel like moon knight is for Konshu, and his sister is the black panther goddess bast or bastest so i don't feel like it's too far of a stretch because loki introduced the concept of variants okay and in spider-man no way home we had variants of spider-man we had toby Maguire, and we had tom holland and we had andrew garfield and now in doctor strange and the multiverse of madness we're getting variants again we're getting variants of stephen strange baron mordo wong christine palmer it seems like and i feel like marvel easing people into the concept of things through general tv it's not unheard of and I feel like they could easily do the same thing with Khonshu and the Elder Gods in the MCU. I feel like they could introduce them through a TV show first and slowly bring them in through the broader audience of the MCU through the movies. Guys, if you liked any of this video, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. I've been your host, Luca. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.